let's talk about a very important thing called as domain expertise let me go back so you see we talk about business impact and then we have think about domain what is domain it's about understanding what the exact you know how a expert would solve that problem okay if we go here okay let's imagine you are trying to build a system to detect let's say stars okay so you are trying to detect a system which is identifying planets which is identifying stars which is identifying other details like this and you are using a ml system for it okay do you need to be astrophysicist to do that probably not if the problem is very simple okay now let's take a look at uh, 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 so let's take a look at different problem let's take a problem of doctors okay and you are trying to predict whether a person is healthy or not okay now simply by giving ecgs to a ai or ml system or a deep learning system whatever it may be simply giving ecgs and based on them detecting healthy or unhealthy is actually not enough why because a doctor will be able to identify oh is that a heart wall for problem is there any cholesterol uh, build up happening or is the heart capacity less is the fitness the problem is diet the problem or is you know heart attack because of heart attack the heart has become bad or there are a lot of things which are possible a doctor is able to understand them very well so you see if you want to detect create any medical system you can't do that without help of a domain expert because you see ml wait where is my stylus oh yeah you see ml system or a deep learning system they all learn from data right they all learn from data you can't just randomly give any data you a domain expert can actually tell you what is the most important point in the data maybe if we take a example of ecg doctor could tell you okay this pattern this pattern or this pattern these three patterns are very important so you already know they are important you don't have to hope that machine learning will find it out maybe machine learning will learn something else we don't know whether it has learned the right thing or not whether it is focusing on the right thing or not that is only determined by the domain expert so finding out what is important in the data maybe giving that directly to the model these are all the ways domain expertise actually comes into picture you see domain expertise is essential for machine learning essential this expertise becomes a tiny bit less important rather uh, not tiny bit uh, it becomes less important in field of deep learning but i won't say that it is of zero importance in deep learning you can never say that domain expertise are of zero importance you see domain expertise is important in deep learning and it is critical in machine learning okay then we have this thing so the common misconception most people have is they just think in terms of algorithm they think oh i am going to just do the algorithm and my ml model is going to be fine no you have to think in terms of data and more importantly you have to think in terms of domain expertise so that is when you are actually not just you know having a narrow expertise you actually have wide expertise and you are taking a look at this thing as a complete 360 degree point of view look at the problem so how can you kind of like uh, learn this okay the simplest way to learn this is do this exercise think up of any domain you are interested in any domain you are interested in and think up of problems in that domain and how machine learning can help in that so uh, whatever domain i am interested in for example i am interested in movies or novels or something else if i think about problems in that domain then only i can actually combine my ml expertise with domain expertise 
once you do the generation then you can you know uh, do reading on quora or reddit to kind of like you know uh, read the answers of experts who are working in that specific domain because what we want to do is we want to find out intersection of domain and machine learning so once you have done that then you can actually graduate to this step where you actually talk directly with a domain expert so you only graduate to this after you are a ml you know ml you also know a bit of domain so it's like if you start if you go to let's say someone who is math phd and ask them tell me how to do 10 into 15 that person will probably hit you because you are taking such a stupid problem to such a expert there are layers of expert so collaborate with people with domain expertise to col but to collaborate with them you need to have uh, you know enough expertise yourself you incrementally find experts whom you can collaborate with so people you know who get over enthusiastic following this advice they directly go to linkedin and actually find people so it's like someone going on linkedin uh, and finding a microsoft employee and saying oh i have an idea can i get contact number of bill gates it's 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 i have seen such people i have seen such people who do that so don't take this advice very far unless you know where you exactly are in reality you can't move forward you see uh, going taking a philosophical tone there are two things so self awareness yuval hirari says that self awareness is very important because self awareness gives you where you are if you know where you are then you can actually say okay i am not where i want to be so where you want to be if you can see that there is a delta in that then you can actually learn okay but i have seen many people who have a delusion that they are where where they want to be so because they don't know the reality of where they actually are they never take even a single step forward in their life because they think they are already there they don't think they are lacking so the same thought process you have to kind of like have here so you have to incrementally start becoming a domain uh, at least not a expert but at least you know domain newbie or at least someone who is aware of everything and but keep in mind that we are we can't be expert in multiple domains that is why this thing is important any domain you want to work in that is what you learn you can't say oh i want to work in you know music industry i want to work in uh, computer vision industry i also want to work in doctor i also want to become data scientist in this you are actually diluting the efforts you can put in you see if we go here there is a business impact but there are lots of domains if you spend time learning different domains you are actually diluting the efforts you are putting in because if you are spending in let's say x amount of efforts and you are working on three domains every domain gets x by 3 instead of that if you are spending time on two domains they get x by 2 if you are just working on one domain it gets the whole attention so uh, you know choose a domain not domains choose a domain preferably if you are a beginner you might not know if the domain you have chosen is your uh, interesting the part you are interested in or not maybe choose two at max 3 three. three is pushing the limit two is more than enough and in that domain there are lots of different areas as well so at most choose two domains focus on them in that you know kind of like try to have a deeper knowledge and try to connect machine learning to domain knowledge that is what makes you a complete all around data scientist who does not exist in silo it that makes it a data scientist who makes you a very uh, uh, well connected very all round data scientist who can comfortably understand uh, business also domain also data also and technical also that is what where we want to be we are not going to be domain expert by the way we should be able to at least understand the domain expert that's our aim we are going to be technical expert but someone who understands domain expert similarly we are going to be a technical expert someone who understands business if we don't understand the business then we are going in blind that hopefully clears up the uh, i hope clears up the uh, approach of business and in next lecture we'll see remaining things